Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool paper collage effect right here. So as you can see right here, this is the final edit right here. You kind of have one picture kind of show up on like every two frames, and then it will slowly disappear. I think it's a pretty cool effect. I also added a little bit of a camera flash and a shutter camera shutter sound effect. I thought that maybe make make it look a little more believable instead of it just popping up on screen. You can of course you know make that decision um, when you're editing. But I want to go over basically how I did it. Basically, we're looking at a, um, a breakdown. Now what I just did right here was I basically just created a storyline right here, and as you can. See, see right here here is the storyline right there now all you have to do is click on the clip right here right click it and you want to click the left from storyline it just helps you edit as well as by doing this you don't have to use um, a magnetic timeline as you can see right here here are all the photos now I have actually seven photos you of course could do more or you could do less but I think five to seven is probably a pretty good um, number right here and then below the storyline is just set to seven seconds and I basically set each one of these photos um, to um, 20 frames right there you don't have to do 20 frames but I thought that 20 frames um, looks pretty nice it gives you a little bit of uh, wiggle room when your time when it's time to actually edit it right here so as you can see right here the next step is the paper overlays right here now I just basically adjust the scale to 250 the X to negative 600 and then over here the X to negative 9 um, 75 right here and of course you can adjust that if necessary uh, but I'll put the paper links or the paper overlays the link to it in the description below but here we go and then you want to name it right and left because this is going to be really helpful when it's time to actually um, edit it's always good to have everything named but don't name this like top and bottom or anything just name this right and left because trust me it's going to help you um, a lot when it's time to edit and each of these again is hold for held for um, 20 um, 20 frames so what you're gonna do right here is you have the two paper overlays you could obviously start on the left side the middle or whatever but all right or on the right side I decided to start on the left side right here so all I did was I just took the photo right here when the x-axis and then moved the photo over right there into the paper overlay that's pretty much the first step now what I did was I took these paper overlays I copy and paste or copied it and then I pasted it over here. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to take the left side right here and you're going to move the left over. Then when you copy it again, you're going to move the right. So it's gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right, and so on and so forth. That basically just helps to make it line up. So as you can see right here, let's go to this one right here. So the next one right here. As you can see, this paper overlay is in the same position in both photos. It just helps you when you're lining the photos up and it also helps you to make sure it's basically filling up the entire screen. Okay, so we move the left. We're going to take this, move the x-axis right here, and then remember uh, you want to move the left, not the right. So we're just going to move um, the left over here. Now we're going to take these paper overlays right here, and then we'll just move um, the right over right there. So we'll move it somewhere like this. We'll take this photo and move it over right here, take the right. And I think by this point, you pretty much got the picture. So now we're going to go ahead and do the left right here. So this was left, right, left. Um, so we're going to take the left one. And we're going to take the left one and then we're just going to move it right here. And the photo is pretty good in the position that it's in right there. Head over here, copy it again. This is, if you, I think by now you notice it, it's a very, you know, repetitive process. You just basically keep on doing this over and over again. Now go ahead, take this photo, move it over. Um, that looks pretty good right there. It's not going to be perfect for the tutorial um, right there. So hopefully I did this right. I'm sure maybe I may have messed something up, but I think for the most part, now I think the left is next and then the right should be next over here. Hopefully I did this um, right, but again, if you mess up one little thing, it's not that big of a deal. And then the right paper overlay should be moved next um, right here. And we'll move the right one somewhere like that. That of course can be all up to you, the position is of course very much of a personal preference um, right there. The next we're going to do is basically just going to apply a mask. As you can see right here we want to cut out the photo right here. Now I'm going to do a very very rough selection um, just for the tutorial right there. So here's a mask you want to actually apply it onto the clip right here. And we'll go ahead and take a mask 
they'll move it like this again this is just going to be a rough rough selection because it's going to take a lot of time to really select all of them so i just copied the mask and then shift command v paste the mask you don't want to mess with the position or scale at all you just want to copy the draw mask um over here so we'll go ahead and take the draw mask and we'll just move the draw mask up like so right there head over to this clip right here move the draw mask um we'll move it over a little bit right there that looks pretty good um again of course if this is like a if this is like a serious edit obviously don't do this rough a selection but the key objective is you want don't cut out don't put the draw mask on the paper overlay you want the draw mask to actually be um on the clip right there because you're basically just cutting it out and putting it into the paper so it's a really cool effect but i think as you can already tell right now um time consuming is an understatement so there we go that's pretty much it those are all of the clips um right there so you can see right here here are all the different paper overlays and that's pretty much what's made and i think by now you pretty much got the point of how this works but there you go that's basically how you create the effect or like the basics of the effect now what you're going to do is you're just going to create seven compound clips so i'll go to option g right here we'll just name this one right here select it right here option g option g is a shortcut to create a compound clip trust me once i figured out this shortcut i don't think i ever left or right clicked to create a compound clip right here so I'll go ahead and click option g this is four right here you can of course come up with a better name um right there but just for the sake of the tutorial we'll just do this um that should be six right here hopefully i did it right go ahead and click right here option and then we're going to go ahead and click on um seven right here and it won't be in like the coolest pattern um so that's pretty much just to keep in mind now what we're going to do right here is we're going to select all of these clips right here we're going to press on Control d right here and we're going to set these to 14 frames right here um that's just going to make it a lot easier again you could in the beginning set it to 14 frames but i don't i just kind of set it to 20 frames you know just in case i change my mind on the duration um right here so these should be 14 frames and then you want to click Control d and set this one to 16 frames so as you can see all of these are set to 14 frames right here and this one is set to 16 frames um right there because it's seven frames i mean there's seven photos so just multiply seven by two and you'll get 14. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind so if you're doing just more of you're doing it multiply it by two or whatever uh, i think you probably got it now what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to go one so it's at 12 so one two three four place a marker one two 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 place a marker right here so basically what we're just going to do is we're going to place these every two frames um now this is not you know going to look as good um i think i did this all right so let's see so we have one two three four one two one two i'm gonna move this over here and we're gonna move so we're gonna go one two one two one two move this one right here and then we'll go, go one two so i think at this point you probably get it every two frames of course you can last it um for much longer than two frames but for this tutorial i just did it every two frames right there so let's go ahead and play it right here to make sure we did this kind of correct let's go one two three four one two one two one two one two one two right there so let's go ahead and play it right here so as you can see right there that's basically what the effect looks like now obviously you want to put in a different order you don't want to just line it up of course um that of course can be the effect that you if, it, if that's the effect that you want to go for then by all means do that but i kind of find it better when it kind of pops up randomly right here or right there so that's basically it so here's the first one one two three four one two one two one two one two 
one two one two one two one two one two one two one two one two and there we go see everything lasts for two frames except for the beginning it lasts for four frames um right there and that's pretty much it that's how you create um this really cool effect now another thing you can do is you could actually just select um, all of these clips um, right here and you could create a compound clip that's basically what I did right here I just put them all inside of a compound clip right here so you have pick four pick two pick three pick one pick six pick seven and then pick five that's basically kind of the, the, the this, this is basically like the lineup I did just in case um, you're wondering right there so let's go ahead and play it one more time and as you can see right here this is what the effect looks like right here so it's literally one two three four and then it's just basically the same lineup right here i added this really cool camera shutter sound effect right here and then i added this really cool kind of camera flash effect right here and there we go it's literally just six frames so you go one two three one two three and that's basically it i'll put the link to the paper overlay um paper overlay in the description below so if you want to create the effect don't worry the, the paper effect is completely free anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you want to watch more final cut pro 10 tutorials make sure to hit that subscribe button anyways see you in the next one peace